are very unique. They're unique, unique among the cats because they're actually more dog-like than they are cat-like. Well, let's yeah. be the judge. So they have dog-like food. Did she pull a hammy? Is it really fun? Oh. Yeah, I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, she has spots on it. <laughs> you know, circle of life. The, the cave has a spot, like cheese yeah. spots. Guys, I said dog-like though. Yeah, dog like, not an actual dog. dog. Oh, you know what? I think this this is shenanigans of one Sir Francis Bacon, but you know what? Joke's on him, everyone. Don't feel cheated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm told you guys get some. CJ here yeah. is an Anatolian Shepherd, a guard dog. She's very important to cheetah conservation. She's the kind of dog we give to farmers to guard livestock from predators like cheetahs. Big dog. All it takes is a couple good barks to scare those cheetahs away from that livestock. Good barks. Yeah, like that. Scared. Yep. And then the cheetah, being a shy animal, runs away from the livestock, therefore saving. Yeah. That's right. And that way, the cheetah doesn't hurt the livestock, and the farmer has no reason to hurt the cheetah. It's one of the many conservation solutions that the Cincinnati Zoo and the Angel Fund help to support. So, by you guys coming out here today, you're helping to save cheetahs in the wild. Speaking of cheetahs, you guys getting tired of these jokes? Yeah, that's unfortunate because I got so many more. But why don't we bring Francis back out here? Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself, sir? Well, I must say you gave a grand effort with your cats, despite my plan to ruin your show with the dog decoy. I guess I turned out to be a real cheater myself. Oh, that's all right, Francis. We forgive you, but hey, you know what? The jokes are getting kind of older. How about putting that battery back, sir? Oh, I've already put it back. Oh, right. Truth be told, I'm a little excited to see these cheaters run myself now. Who oh, knew cats were such amazing creatures? Well, I'm glad to hear we turned you into a cat fan, Francis. Yeah, well done. And it's just in time, too, because I think our cheetahs are raring and ready to go. So, while our trainers are setting up the yard, I'm going to tell you guys about what we're doing here today. You see that battery that Francis stole that we've been looking for? That's a car battery. And that's what's powering our lore system. So, essentially, our cheetahs are going to be racing cars today. Now, that lore system is a big spinning wheel, and it winds up that string. Is see that string on the yard? It winds up that string really, really fast. Now, on the end of that string is a lure. Now, we kept running out of child volunteers, so we had to go get something sturdier. We went out and got a fluffy dog toy. It's great because it's about the same size as something they hunt in the wild, and they can really sink their teeth into it without completely destroying it. Now, it's going to start in the back corner over there, race down along the back, around that mound, and end up right here in front of you guys. It's going to make for some great photo opportunities if you guys are quick. I'm going to be honest, our cheetahs are probably quicker. Now, you're in for a treat today. You're going to see two cheetah runs, two. And you actually get to see a boy cheetah and a girl cheetah run. And afterwards, you guys gotta let me know which one was faster, because they are always arguing about which gender is faster. So you're gonna help me settle that dispute. Now up first is going to be our youngest cheetah, Savannah. Ladies first, here we go. The fastest thing on four legs, Savannah, the African cheetah. Boom, here she comes now, racing down along the back, picking up speed, picking up speed, there she goes. She gotta go around that mound. Round it. Whoa! Here she is, look at her go, look at her go! Spot it more in action, I tell you what. Is she gonna catch it? Whoa, almost ran over it. Whoa. Right up into the bushes. That's cool. It almost got away from it, too. Great job, Savannah, that was great. But guys, get your cameras ready, because this is the best part of the show. We do have to get that lure back, so uh, who's jumping in the bushes to wrestle it out of her? No? Alicia's doing it? This would be great, guys, watch it. No? I'm just kidding. You see, our cats are trained animals, but they're still wild animals. And that lure is their prey. They worked really, really hard to catch. So they don't want to just give it up for nothing. So we convince our cheetahs to trade that lure for something equally as good. And the only thing cheetahs like to trade for is hurry up, food. Cheetah. They're hurry up, always cheetah. hungry. They have that high metabolism. It helps them go so real up, fast. Now, if you guys can see way out Hurry there, up, those pans are silver. We treat our animals so well here, take it off the silver platters. Thank you, Linda, for showing that off. It's Vanna White. You're doing great. Now, so while our trainers are convincing her to give up that lore and taking her back to set up for the next cheetah run,